Hi, welcome to SIM Administration Training. Learn from scratch. Lecture 2 SIM Architecture In our previous video, you learn about general SIM architecture and responsibility of all three components that is receiver, manager and logger. In this video, you will learn about SIM architecture of different SIM product available in the industry, event life cycle and how their naming convention of various components vary from each other. Receiver Receiver is the first component and responsible for direct interaction with data sources and collect logs from all the devices across the network. Collected data is further parsed and normalized before it passed to the second component called manager. When the raw data is parsed by receiver, it is normalized to present it in structured and usable format by manager. Different SIM vendors have their own naming convention for each component in SIM and we will learn about the below highlighted SIM tools in a slide. In HP ArcSight, First component of SIM architecture called Smart Connector, which is responsible for extracting the logs and perform some defined action parsing, normalization and aggregation on the logs and send those events to the manager. In RSS Security Analytics, receiver called as Decoder with some responsibility of extracting the logs from all the devices across the network and performing aggregation and normalization on log and send those events to the next component. In RSA, it has two decoder. First is decoder which captures network data in packet form. Second is log decoder which captures log data as events. IBM QRadar IBM QRadar architecture based on three layer approach. First layer is responsible for data collection, which is done by event collector. Event collector is responsible for collecting the log from different network and perform the same action of parsing and normalization of raw events, then pass down those events to the next component or next layer. In Splunk, receiver refer as forwarder. There are two types of forwarder available in Splunk, Universal Forwarder and Heavy Forwarder. Universal Forwarder, it collects the logs and forwards the data to the second component. However, it does not perform much processing on the logs like passing and normalization. Heavy Forwarder, it comes with more responsibility and feature to forward the next to the component with the performing various processing on the raw logs like passing and indexing. Indexing is the term used in Splunk for writing the parsed data to different folder or bucket refer as indexes. In MacCafe, ERC stands for Event Receiver which collect the data and event from all the devices and parses or extract and normalize collected values to the one common field CEF common event format and forward the CEF event to the next component for further processing. After processing the logs by receiver, it forward the events to the manager. Then the manager passes those events through the rules engine which looks for specific information in logs and matches with the condition defined in correlation rule and on successful match it trigger an alert and then the data is returned to storage. In HP ArcSight, the second component called as ESM stand for Enterprise Security Manager which will receive the logs from smart connector and perform the evaluation on those events and categorize the priority level for each past event and then further send it to the core engine. Core engine use the rule which help in evaluation the incoming events against a set of condition and trigger an alert for further investigation. In RSA security analytics, the next component is Event Stream Analysis ESA, which provide advanced correlation capabilities with complex event processing at high throughputs. It generates alert on the basis of correlation rule defined by SIM architecture 
और रूल कैन बी डाउनलोडेड फ्रॉम ऑनलाइन लाइव थ्रेड फीड बाय आरएसए इवेंट स्ट्रीम एनालिसिस हेल्प परफॉर्मिंग पावरफुल इंसिडेंट डिटेक्शन एंड अलर्टिंग आईबीएम क्यूरिडा आफ्टर कलेक्टिंग द डेटा फ्रॉम फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट इवेंट कलेक्टर इट पासिस द डेटा टू द सेकेंड लेयर और डेटा प्रोसेसिंग लेयर where event processor passes these data through the custom rule engine which generate alerts and then the data is returned to storage it stored the data within itself which can be accessed with the help of other component and interface we will discuss later on those component in splunk indexer is the second splunk component which use for passing normalization aggregation and storing the data coming from the forwarder if you are receiving the data from universal forwarder then the indexer will first parse the data and then index it this indexing process is known as event processing like storing the extracted parsed field in folder refer as bucket but if you are receiving the data from heavy forwarder the indexer will only index the data indexer processes the incoming data and performing user defined action on the incoming data in mccafe enterprise security manager is the second component and responsible for generating alerts with mccafe advanced correlation engine which correlates or identifies the pattern in logs and identify potential security threat on the basis of defined rule logger store the manager standard data and user created content logs and events are store in the sim solution till its retention period only which define on the basis of company business requirement store data is always available for the analysis and investigation by the analyst however historical data is used to store in archived from the with the compression if required it can extract the archive folder and can be used further for investigation and analysis hp arcsight rsa security analytics and mccafe comes with a default component for storage in arcsight it refer as arcsight database in security analytics it refer as archiver in mccafe it refer as enterprise log manager or elm However Splunk stored the data in the indexer itself and IBM QRadar used to stored in the second layer or event processor but if required to add more storage capacity which can be handled by adding data nodes in QRadar in HP Arcsight Core Engine is a proprietary data storage and retrieval framework which received and process events there are two types of storage available event storage and system storage event storage store daily events that collected until the end of each day retention period or until space run out the events in this storage are always available for correlation and analysis system storage store data object and resources used by the system correlation and analysis does not occur in system storage there are no retention period for data in this storage event that flow into core engine are copy to event storage if archiving is configured the event are also copies to archive storage if retention period expire or event storage is out of space then events are deleted from event storage in rsa security analytics Archiver is an appliance that enable long term log archiving by indexing and compressing log data and sending it to archiving storage. Archiver stores raw logs and log meta from log decoders for long term retention. In IBM QRadar event processor store data after processing it so data is stored in second layer. as all the components are in one appliances many companies require the stand alone storage to handle storage data nodes are added data compression is used to compress data when it is stored and data nodes are added to handle specific storage requirements and to help with implementing data retention policies 
as many companies are comply by rules and regulation to keep data records for specific periods in splunk after indexing the data from indexer it create a bunch of files the raw data is stored in compressed form with metadata file called as index files the file stored in different directories in the indexer itself the storage capacity depend on the allocated space and on configure retention policies in macafe elm stand for enterprise log manager and responsible for storing the raw event log data collected from data sources configured on event receiver elm support a wide range of storage technologies it include local storage direct attached storage san and network attached storage now we have gone through the different common architecture following by multiple sim vendor in next video we will discuss the complete architecture and other component which we haven't discussed yet for each sim one by one thank you for watching our video subscribe to our channel to show your support it will inspire us to make more videos